When John Galliano graduated from London's Central St. Martins in the early 80s, he was a shy young designer with a quiet confidence who was already showing signs of future acclaim. My first year at um, St. Martins Art School, John was just about to graduate, and um, he was, his talent was absolutely astonishing, even then. I mean, he eclipsed anyone else. However, early in his career, commercial success was elusive. At one point, the editor of American Vogue provided some much-needed support. John, at that time, was like so many of those extremely talented British designers. I mean, they have all the talent, but they don't have the business support behind them. And once you know, he had that through LVMH, I mean, there was absolutely no stopping him. It was the fashion powerhouse of LVMH that hired Galliano in 1996 as the first British designer to helm a French couture house, the House of Givenchy. In short succession, the young genius was named to the even more prestigious position of creative director at the legendary house of Christian Dior. John has to deal with his own creative considerations and the, the demands of the house. And, and I think people underestimate that John is very good at business. John really knows and he really is able to deliver to the house when they need something. But he is one designer that you cannot tell what to do. Sadly, his time at Dior came to a sudden and ugly end when on the first day of the fall-winter 2011 Paris collections, Galliano was fired from the historic house. Days earlier, he had been arrested for making racial insults in a Parisian bar. Citing a zero-tolerance policy, he was subsequently dismissed by Dior. At first, people were shocked, and then you analyze it, you think about it. You just feel the very profoundly sad about the whole thing. It's a real sad moment in Paris to not have Galliano with us. Where Galliano will end up is still undecided, but the news of his three-week stint behind the scenes at Oscar de la Renta for fall 2013 offered the fashion world a glimmer of hope of his return.